Hello everybody, this is Team McNuggets with our final presentation. Our show is called It's Always Sunny at USF by Team McNuggets. This is the story of a very interesting foreign exchange student called Samir who is new to the American culture. Samir is a foreign exchange student that has just moved from India to the United States to attend the local university USF. Throughout classes, Samir starts to notice that he is faced with an entirely new culture. English is not something new to him because in India he learned English in school. However, the food and the social lifestyle are things that Samir is not accustomed to. Samir is now faced with meeting new people and becoming a part of an entirely different culture. Samir joins a multicultural fraternity that helps him understand American culture better and meet new people as well. As Samir starts to grow as a person in this new environment, he will soon learn that he is going to have to learn important skills to better manage his time between his social life and academic life. Our target audience are people in their teens and mid-twenties but mainly college students. The setting for this show is going to take place mostly at the Tampa USF campus, the main campus where the foreign exchange students attend for class. There will also be settings in the student dorm room and the fraternity events that Samir will be attending throughout the series. This will make it easier for the viewer to relate to the show. Based on our target market, the main concept that we are trying to get across to the viewer is management. By showing how Samir will use management concepts to better manage his social and academic life. These are our characters. Samir is the main character. He is a young business student who was just transferred from India. And Samir is the character whose storyline is about. As the story goes on, we will follow his decision making and observe how he plays a role in management concepts. Frank is Samir's fraternity brother in the multicultural fraternity. Frank is one of the older brothers in the fraternity and he plays a big part in this decision making that goes in on within the fraternity. Taylor is a student at USF where both Frank and Samir go to school. She is first a friend of Samir and helps him transition into American culture. Later in the story, she will begin to like Samir and cause him to have to use strategic management decisions to deal with his time wisely when it comes to his fraternity and business classes. Martin is an alumni member of USF College of Business and a brother of the same fraternity as Frank and Samir. Martin owns a business in downtown Tampa. This is where Samir can put his management skills to the test in the real world. How the characters use management concepts. The overall story is about Samir and how he manages his school and social life, life through the management concepts from HIT Black and Porter's 2012 management textbook. Each episode expresses different concepts. However, the characters relate to the same situation and concepts at hand is generally all the same. Samir is the main character and is the one that encounters the problems at hand that require the use of these management concepts. Taylor is the character that puts Samir in the tough situation and sends him into the decision-making process. Frank and Martin represent Samir's main focus as they offer a potential future career for Samir. These life situations and school cause Samir to use strategic planning and implementation for his life decisions. These school and social life conflicts between Frank and Taylor are where we can see Samir use management concepts. Episode 1 New Arrival Samir is a new foreign exchange student from India that has just flown over here 
to begin school at USF Business of College. Here he will begin to face new culture shock, and along with having to manage concepts to help him balance his new life in America as a USF student. Samir begins to settle in his routine in America and begins to make new friends right away. Taylor, Frank, and Martin enter Samir's life and prove to be great friends over his time at school. Episode 2, The Concert Samir runs into Frank at a coffee shop near campus. Frank reminds Samir of their upcoming event to benefit the fraternity. Samir commits to be there. A little while after they go their separate ways, Samir gets a phone call from Taylor and she wants him to go to a concert. Caught a little off guard, Samir agrees to the be there. It's not until several hours later that Samir realizes the school events are on the same night. Episode 3 College Life Samir's school life and social life are beginning to get a little out of balance. He is starting to pull in several directions at once. Whether it's his work with his fraternity or working with the guys or spending time with Taylor, he is finding less and less time for school. Samir decides to focus on what is really important and makes a plan to find a better balance between school and work and socializing. Episode 4, Change This episode is a bit of a continuation from the last. Samir is still sorting out what is important and what he wants to get out of his time at school. After receiving a lot of advice from friends and taking his time to think things through, Samir makes a difficult decision to break off his relationship with Taylor. Taylor takes the break up in stride and the two of them decide together to stay friends. Episode 5, The Value Martin has ex an extremely successful company in downtown Tampa and internships with his company are highly sought after as they often lead to bigger and better opportunities within the company. Utilizing his advantage, Samir positions himself to land an internship. The demand on his time will be increased and he knows he made the right decision to break things off with Taylor. Episode 6, Grouping Samir has made all the right calls so far. Some of his decisions were tough to make, but things are really starting to come together. In this episode, it is Samir's turn to lead, and he turns his two mentors for help, Frank and Martin. Frank and Martin appreciate the hard work Samir has done for them, so they enthusiastically agree to help him however he they can. Samir is proud of how far he has come in such a short time. Episode 7 Sorry Taylor Right when Samir begins to feel like nothing can go wrong, Taylor misinterprets something he says and the two of them have a huge fight. After the two of them have a chance to cool down, Samir looks for an opportunity to apologize to her and explain his remarks. The two of them agree that it was a misunderstanding and attribute it to the language barrier that exists between them. After sorting everything out, Samir is able to feel good about things again. General Conclusions on Management When trying to manage anything, whether it be work, studies, or social activities, it is important to have a plan to follow. Having a plan creates order for the objectives a manager needs to achieve. To be an effective manager, it's important to lead by example, have empathy, be great at listening and communicating, and be willing to take the lead. Kemper's Reflection I overall enjoy the course and the setup of it. It posed a bit of a challenge trying to work in groups while doing a whole course via online, but it was manageable overall pretty well. 
I like how he ha we had to use management concepts in the writing logs and re relate them to real life experience. This helped myself learn the concepts a little easier. The one difficult aspect of the course was creating the recordings of the episodes with having no video editing skills, but was also somehow managed pretty well. The groups proved to be a challenge, yet great learning experience, and the course in general was a great learning experience. Orlandi's Reflection this management course has been a learning experience on how to work in a group with others from a long distance. The key concepts that were taught really help our group to stay united and organized through this course. The concepts taught us how to work effectively as a group when completing each assignment. Although each group member has an active life juggling school, work, and family, we all managed to come together as one to reach our ultimate goal. We were able to stay on task with weekly Skype calls and text messages. Although communication may have been an issue, at times in this group project we managed to come together and work as a team. This course has taught me that people can still manage to come together and work as a team, even though it was even though it may be from a long distance. Steve's Reflection This class was not what I was looking for when I signed up for it. Most of us sign up for online courses because of the conveniency they afford us. This class was at times inconvenient because of the randomness and how the groups were formed. Our team was spread out geographically as well, which added to difficulties. Managing the workload individually and as a team proved to be the biggest challenge. Our team worked through these challenges to deliver a good finished product despite our collective lack of production skills, which was arguably the biggest challenge of all. It, was, it has been a learning experience for sure. Throughout this management course, I've been able to learn about all the skills and requirements that a manager might need to be successful. At work and in our online group, practicing topics like strategic planning, group decision making, barriers of communication, and ethics have helped me better understand management. I would definitely recommend this to anybody looking to have a hands-on experience of management. Advice for the rookies, make sure to have fun and keep an open mind to, take, to tackling this assignment in creative ways. The best way to make use of the concepts learned in this class is by applying them to your everyday life. And that's our team, McNuggets, comprised of Steve, Kemper, Orlandi, and me as well.